Hey guys, what's up? It's the Beskar Wrecking Ball with Beskar Gaming. Today we're going to be playing some Space Engineers. So, we're going to be playing with a buddy from Delta Coravan server by the name of D Hund. So, let's get right into it, shall we? A uh, Hund. Yeah. Am I gonna be setting up, or do you have a world set up? I have the world that I'm working in. Oh, uh, did you want to try and do that whole build half ship thing? Not right now. Not right now. Oh. Alrighty. Well, if you want, I can uh, set up a world, and you're more than welcome to join. I'm just kind of recording gameplay right now. Depends on how this build goes. Okay. So, seems uh, D-Hund didn't want to play right now, but we will... Uh, Go ahead and get started. So let's see here. Friends only, as always. Environment hostility safe because I am a massive, massive pussy. Disable spider hounds, cyber hounds, whatever. Whoever enables spectator. Um, what? Hello, pressurize it. That's a new feature. Okay. Are you sure you want to enable air tightness? They can have. This can have negative influence to performance. Uh, we'll give it a try just to see what it's like. Cargo ships, everything's all set up. We're going to be playing without mods. Uh, let's do some testing on the moon, shall we? So, as you guys know, this is... Well, hopefully you guys know. This is my first YouTube video um, for the Beskar Gaming channel. Currently, uh, I got a few other buddies that stream and have their own YouTube tra own YouTube channels, not channels. And their descriptions will be in the well. Their channel link, if I can talk properly, will be in the description down below. Um, head on over, just go check them out. First one is Dr. Icor. Me and him have played a little bit of GTA 5 together. And then the other one is the Stoned Gunman. We've played a little bit of Arma Wasteland. Uh, just different stuff like that. Both are really good friends of mine. And they probably enjoy uh, your subscription. So. We'll get this all loaded up, play some Space Engineers. A few of the uh, other games I play range from Skyrim, Arma 3, Arma 2, the Hitman series, which I die a lot in the Hitman series, um, Assassin's Creed, some of the Warhammer 40k, and Star Wars games. Pretty sure you throw a Star Wars game at me, I will most likely play it. So, just been a huge, huge Star Wars fan since as long as I can remember, actually. I first seen Return of the Jedi in 95 when I was five years old. Loved it. 
ended up being introduced to A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back when I was about 12, and I loved them all. Then I went to see The Phantom Menace with my dad. Being a kid, I will admit I enjoyed The Phantom Menace. I did not enjoy Mr. Jarter Binks. Uh, seems we got a little bit of game lag here. Alright. Seems to have leveled out. And welcome to the moon. But, no, I, uh, I thoroughly enjoy Star Wars. I may have gotten a little upset with Episode 7. Um, for those of you who haven't seen it, I would suggest muting your sound for now. But those of you who have, I personally got really upset with them killing off Han. Upset to the point where I ripped a bucket of popcorn in half. So, yeah, I can't say I didn't like the movie. Try to open this. Okay, then. But at the same time, there were a few parts I didn't like. I loved the movie. I loved what they did with uh, FN or Finn. Ray, I'm pretty sure if I ever get the chance, I will marry her. Daisy Ridley is an awesome, awesome actor. But I'm, I'm not going to be any more creepy now. Anyways, so... I'm not really sure what we should do. Also, uh... Big ol' oxygen. Let's see here. And... Air vents. Depressurize. Yes, I am that friend. When playing online on survival, just to be a dick, I will depressurize a room. So, let's go ahead and name this one Air Vent Med Bay. Sorry about the yawn there, everyone. It is currently 11. It's 12 o'clock at night. So, and I did work all day. A little bit more server lag. We'll have to figure out what exactly. Shouldn't say server lag, but game lag anyways. Figure out what exactly is going on. Air vents. Hanger. Smallest hanger I've ever seen. So. Let's check in with uh, Hund to see how his ship is coming, I guess. Oh, it's 12 o'clock now. It was actually 11.58 when I told you guys what time it was. So, we'll check in with Hund. A hey, uh, Hund. How's your ship coming along? Not bad. I'm working on a construction yard slash blinder. Oh. That's actually a really good idea. Hmm. Maybe do a mobile construction yard? I would not mind doing that. Uh, let's name this one. Oxygen tanks. 
that works. So, uh, hey, hey, Hund, do you want to say hi to whoever may watch this video? Not really, but hi. <laughs> Not really, but hi. Alrighty. Um, go through these doors if I can. So, another uh, another guy that I'm subscribed to, pretty good friend of mine, is Neil Crypter. His uh, link will be in description below as well. Hey, I actually said it right this time. Awesome, but yeah, he uh, plays Space Engineers from time to time. He also uh, what plays a bunch of other games, mostly space based. Space based. Okay, so I was wondering about that. Ion thrusters do work on the moon. I'm not going to go over there just yet. I might actually cheat a little bit, but cheating never really hurt anyone in single player. What, what is that thing doing? You spin me right round, baby, right round. actually never seen the uh, handling facility for the moon and it really doesn't look much different so have that where's the uh, main base is there a main base is time real I don't know. Ooh, already. Go into the moon there. Kind of reminds me of a uh, Pink Floyd sign song there. So, oh, easy world start. Whatever. Easy start saved. Um, fun fact. Did you guys know there was a proper term for the line between dark side of a planet and the light side? Not to be confused with Star Wars. I know I keep going back to Star Wars, but... That line is actually called the Terminator line. I was watching a video on the SR-71 Blackbird, and it blows my mind. Got a military transporter here. Is he going to the moon? He's not now. I'm trying to remember which way is up, which way is down. Yeah. Figure make a little crash site. Goodbye, you bugger. I did not want him that far away.
That's about right here. That way we have a little bit of, uh, I guess, a little bit of a crash landing. Give us something to go explore. If he don't blow himself up. Yeah, it may seem a little cheap, but I'm just having a little bit of fun. Okay. So, he did blow up a little bit, I think. Oh yeah, he, he definitely went kapooey. But... Overall, it seems like he's still pretty much intact. Um, so, we're going to head back over here, spawn out our... And probably should take care of this guy first. So, let's go back to this view. It's just beautiful. Awesomely beautiful. Let's go rock launch. And yes, we are currently in creative right now, but never hurt anyone really. Oh wow, he's closer than I thought. Not no more. Alright, so let's go to blueprints. Uh, it's not really a review per se, but I am not against I'm not against telling you guys about a uh, stuff that I think is pretty awesome. This is the M35 Bison mobile base by Wildcard. You can find it on the Steam Workshop. And features vanilla Nomad build. Just how I like it. Full resourcing suite and ore detector, projector for repairs, upgradable resourcing and manufacturing suite, can make hydrogen fuel and maintain and refuel small ships, oxygen support and airlocks, access by a belly platform or a landing pad airlocks, airliftable, what, what, what do we mean by airliftable? Cargo system accessible from ground between the rear wheels. Ooh. Yeah, not gonna read that. Not gonna read that. Alright, so... Yeah, let's spawn this bad boy out and... Go take a look at... What is essentially... The damage... Oh, oh god. the bison where's the bison I want to take a look at that here in a second too so there we go all right try not to drop it too hard or maybe yeah so that's happening.
There we go. Not really sure I'm a fan of, but why are you doing this? Not really sure if I'm a fan of the new build model for Space Engineers, but I guess I'm going to have to deal, so... Oh, there it is. Info. Convert to ship. Or not. Yeah, Space Engineers, it, it's kind of broken in my opinion. I mean, I do enjoy the game, but there's a lot of stuff about it that is it's just not working anymore, I guess. my best way of putting it. Okay, it's completely broken, apparently. So, let's go back here. Oh my! That is definitely bigger than I thought. And it's actually flying, so... Barely. But it's flying. So, we'll let this kinda land, I guess? It already is. Alright. And I wonder if you've ever seen the rain. No. Um. Can't remember if this had a merge block on top. Or if if it didn't, which it don't, so we'll go back over here. Delete you because you were a d bag. Bye. Thank you. Let's see here. Looks like everything's fine, so... Yeah, we'll, uh... Actually, I don't even need a merge block. Technically. Still should use one, though. So, just trying to think here. Merge block. All right, there we go. And we got a merge block.
so either this is going to go horribly wrong or it's going to go horribly wrong because usually things go horribly wrong for me. Um, no, I shouldn't go too horribly wrong if I'm smart. So is everything just not working? I don't know, it's working. However, we don't have enough thrust to get off the ground. So we're going to figure out why. Let's see here. little bit of thruster love there. That just sounds wrong. Thruster love. Little bit right there. And hopefully we can get big old Bertha off the ground. I don't know why Bertha though. What why can't we just name her Jude? Alright, we'll just name her Jude. Um, so, head down here. And it seems we've got adequate thrust to get off the ground. So, alright, this one will be Jude. And we'll name the Bison Bertha. So, comment below uh, some games you want me to play, and I might just have to go ahead and check them out. Really? To be honest, this kind of reminds me of the uh, LAATs from Star Wars. I want to say they were the LAAT slash T's, um, basically for, oops, and it seems we've kind of booped Bertha's nose, the, but no, the uh, LAAT T's were the transports. And personally, I thought they were pretty cool, so. Alright, seems we've uh, ran into a small issue, but. Nothing uh, we can't fix. So. Get some uh, slow down a little bit. All right, we'll just leave Bertha here. Head outside. Okay, that's pretty cool. Being able to scroll through. I can't be too mad at you, space engineers.
still, you need to fix the whole copy pasta thing. Actually, um, I think I'm going to put them right here. And because I can, and it takes longer, yes, I know. Oh, good. We are safe, Captain. A little bit of frame rate lag there. Kind of wonder what's up with that. Mean. Alright, Bertha, you fat shudder. Shudder, 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 shudder. So I'm going to have to go into spectator mode. Just real quick. What the hell, Bertha? What the hell? Alright, let's see what's up with my merge block. Okay. There was a little, uh, there was a pirate fight! A little bit of gunfire for us, uh, just the enemy pirates trying to take what is rightfully ours. 
so yeah that's not working all right so I wonder I uh, wonder 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 what's in a wonder ball I wonder if I head out here ah oh, look at the nose of that thing massive I wonder if I head out here and go to here, go to here. Okay. Info, info, info. Oh, oh, that did something. Oh, did it? Did it do what I think it did? Ah, uh, it did. Did it, did it, did And then we all died. Uh, so, now that we've got our little transport, birth you, uh, birth June, Bertha can be picked up by June, and they can make sweet, sweet, passionate love. But we don't want that, do we? Because nobody wants to see that. And. What? Yep, nope. It didn't do what I thought it did. So. Since we're just kind of. Chilling on top of Bertha. Oh, don't lie, you've been there too. Uh, just a heads up for uh, everyone at home if you didn't see at the beginning the warning, viewer discretion advised. I am a vile, very vile human being in the sense that I don't have a filter. I prefer not to have a filter. It's just fun that way. But, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah. <sighs> Some people would probably say that I should have a, uh, a filter. Covered to station. And I, I personally say screw you to those people. I've always been a firm believer that people who swear have more personality than those who really don't, I guess. Alright, so... What, what's going on here, Bertha? Alright, screw Bertha. The only one I need is Jude. And I don't even need you, Jude. see here. Don't need the atmosphere work barge, huh? Yeah, what's the worst that can happen? Okay, we found the worst that can happen, and that is nothing works. Navajo, Navajo. Let's take a look at the Independence class carrier. Mm -hmm. 
Do do do. Little bit of server lag. Or game lag. Game lag. It was. That does look pretty. You gotta admit that. Yeah, we're not gonna make it to the uh, bridge. not going to make it captain so if you guys haven't noticed um, my PC really isn't the best out there on the market but it's my own build I enjoy it I get happiness from it so while the videos may not be the best. Oh gosh. Smashing the wall there. While the videos may not be the best, I still get enjoyment. And I sure hope that you guys do as well. Come on, open already. Because it's why I'm doing this. That and I want to be able to go back and look at memories I've got with pissing off my friends. So. How do you get to the bridge? We'll cheat. There is no bridge. There's only pain. I'm going here, which I assume was the bridge, and it's not. There's, there's a bridge. This might not be the bridge. Definitely not the bridge. Definitely not the bridge. Um, is it one of those with the belly bridge? I think it might be one of those with the belly bridge. I will honestly say that I'm surprised I don't see any thrusters whatsoever. No booty bridge. No booty thrusters. Ooh. I see what's going on here. Unfortunately, I see exactly what's going on here. When I rested in, I forgot the mods and everything so that's the main reason what's this guy up to you oh he's hurting he's hurting bad tickle 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 anyways I forgot to uh, all the mods and whatnot so it was kinda like yeah no I have no engines class destroyer <sighs> Let's 
Let's take a look at these. Or not. I think our best bet would be a buggy. with a buggy. Alright, let's give her a go. Seems kind of wobbly eyed. Those wheels aren't really working too well. And death. That lasted all about five seconds. We'll go and try the bison one more time. There she is. And then maybe try the hover bike. We'll name this one Betty. Why are you shooting at the top? Do you feel better? Go ahead and fix her up. the elevator actually does work. And it seems we've exploded something. Ladies and gentlemen, that is 
pistons for you. They do not work. So, a uh, hunt. So apparently my pistons on a single, or no, I'm online, but I'm hosting. I caused them to, well, explode somehow. Yeah. So I would not suggest using them. Paste it in again. This is what most of my games are like. Going nowhere. Give me a game without direction and I will stay in one spot. You are still alive. Not no more. I kind of wish the uh, turrets were smart enough not to shoot themselves. So I want to say it goes based off of how high. Maybe not. Alrighty, well, it seems uh, nothing wants to work tonight, so I might end up playing another game. I might not. If I do, you'll definitely see a video from me. So, this is the Beskar Wrecking Ball with Beskar Gaming signing off for the night. So, see ya.